All right, today we're going to be looking at a shortcut way to graph a parabola. All right, and the easiest um, way to do this is if it is in vertex form, you can do it when it's not in vertex form. It's just going to take a little bit longer. All right, with this being in vertex form, real quickly, I can tell that my vertex to this parabola is going to be a 3, negative 5. All right. So, in other words, I shift to the right 3 and then down 3, that's going to be my vertex. The 2 right there tells me that it's going to be an upright parabola, so I know that going in. All right, I'm going to start by putting the vertex on. So, the right 3, down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, I know that is my vertex. Okay, now, the shortcut part, okay? I am always going to use the numbers 1, 3, 5 all the time, okay? And I am going to take 1, 3, 5, and I am going to multiply it by my A coefficient, okay? So in this case, my A coefficient is 2, so I'm going to multiply by 2, multiply by 2, multiply by 2. All right, now what that's going to give me, it's going to give me a 2, it's going to give me a 6, it's going to give me a 10. All right, now, from the vertex, I am going to move to the right one and then up two because I know it's an upright parabola. So over to the right one, up two, and put a dot. Then I'm going to stay at that point and I'm going to go over one to the right again. This time I'm going up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then from there I'm going to go over one to the right and then if I've got enough room on my graph paper I can go up ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now if I were to actually plot those points, if I would plug in one, two, three, four, if I'd plug in four, I would get a negative three. If I, you know, this, this shortcut avoids having to create that xy table. All right, because I know the parabola is symmetrical, then all I've got to do is go one to the left and up two, and there's a symmetrical point, over one more, up even with my other point, which was up six, and then over to the left and up 10, again, symmetrical to that. All right, very, very quick method for being able to get through some shortcut graphing on this parabola. Saves you from having to create an entire XY table every time when you want an accurate graph. You want to be a little more precise and add a little bit more to your parabola. You can put that axis of symmetry in, and we know that that's a vertical line with the equation X equals 3. So if you want to be a little more precise there and put in your axis of symmetry in, then there you have it. But shortcut graphing. You always use 1, 3, 5. You always multiply by the leading coefficient. And then either upright or upside down, depending on what it is, always to the right one, and then up 2 to the right one, up 6 to the right one, up 10. 